Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing all the behind the scenes of Theo's birthday party. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. We did a teddy bear themed birthday party, which I, one, I just thought it was such a cute idea, but also I know a lot of people named Theodore go by Teddy. And so I thought it'd be like a cute play on that, even though he is a Theo, not a Teddy. So I'm going to link everything that we did. So everything that we purchased, everything that we used, all of that will be down below in the description box if you're interested in that. Um, but I vlogged the entire process. I did quite a few things myself and yeah, I hope that you enjoy seeing everything that we did. I am working on these little bear goodie bags for Theo's birthday. Uh, it is teddy bear themed. So I wanted to, I wanted a DIY project to do for the part for the party. And this is what we landed on. So I right now I'm just painting the bellies and then, then I'm going to let them sit for a little bit and then I'm going to paint the mouth just so that I can kind of stack them on top of each other. I think I'm going to go back right now and do the mouth because I do have to um, do the Sharpie over it to do that. But I think I'm going to change the ears a little bit. I don't know. And then of course I will go through and stuff all of them. But step one is doing this and I think I need 18 bags. All of the goodie bags are officially done. I can't believe I didn't think to add the Teddy Grahams or gummy bears before, but they were a great last minute add. I felt like I was doing side work rolling all of the silverware, so shout out to anyone who's ever worked in a restaurant. I just put Theo down. I actually made a bunch of these cookies before we had dinner, but I am resuming. So I figured I would show you. I'm making bear cookies and one cookies for his birthday party this weekend. This is what I have so far. So I'm going to keep making them. The last batch of cookies is in the oven and I just realized I never ordered printouts for his little milestone poster or the time capsule I want to do for him so I need to order those and find somewhere that I can get them in the next two days. Here are all of the cookies and then the last pan is in the oven right now so those will be done in a few minutes. Tomorrow my mom is coming over to watch Theo and so when he's napping we are going to be cookie decorating. We're back at it again. Say hi mom. Hi. We're gonna decorate all the bear heads first because there's like 50 of them and then we'll concentrate on the ones and everything else after that. She's just mixing up the color and I setting out all of the cookies so that we can do that and then I think tomorrow we'll have to do the muzzles because the bare head part is going to have to sit overnight. And while he was napping, 
Yeah, his birthday party outfit came in. So I figured I would show it to you really quick. <gasps> Are you saying hi? Say hi. His party is teddy bear themed. So I got him this little outfit. It's a little short outfit and it has the pocket in the front. Hopefully you can see that right here. The little pacifier pocket. Do you wanna wear this for your birthday party? All right, I am going to feed Theo and then get back to playtime before Adam gets home. I just got a phone call saying that my order is ready for pickup at Staples. I ended up getting a couple of printed things from Staples. Hey, it's okay. It's okay, dude. So let's go. I just got a phone call. Here, here you go. I just got a phone call saying that my order is ready for pickup at Staples. I just got a couple of the printed things done at Staples because it's last minute and I totally forgot about them. So I'm going to go and run and get those. Adam should be home probably in about a half hour or so. Um, and then I'm going to get back to decorating cookies, which is what I've been working on a lot of the day today. I ended up deciding to do a few different shades of browns for the ones. And then we have all of the bear cookies over here that still need faces. But I think I'm gonna do tone on tone polka dots. So I'll do obviously like the same color that the cookie is in polka dots once they're fully dry. So might have to wait until tomorrow to do that. But I love the way that these colors turn out. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already showed the ones, but I am going to do tone on tone polka dots. So I just got this color out. This is the second to darkest color. So I'm just gonna do polka dots on these really quick. I finished up all of the dots. I think they're so cute. So now I just need to figure out the bare faces. On these, I did the ears, but I need to figure out the muzzle. And I picked up all of the printed stuff from Staples and thought it came on like a poster board type thing. No, it came on just regular paper. So we're about to go outside and um, do spray adhesive onto foam court. Everything's on the foam board. So Adam is just gonna cut it so that it is perfecto. Hi, dude. Are you gonna pack up the car for us? Let's put all your party stuff in here, okay? I made it over to my parents' house with our large box of all the things. I'm gonna try to get as much setup as I can, mainly the balloon arch, because I know that's going to be the thing that takes the longest. We'll see how far I can get. I blew up all of the balloons. They are kind of everywhere. We're going to try to get Theo down for a little nap, and then I'm going to attempt to make this into a pretty balloon arch. We will see how it goes. They're putting up the bounce house right now in the backyard. The balloon kit that I bought came with all of the supplies I needed. So after I was done blowing up the balloons, I started attaching them to this, I guess it's just like balloon cord. I don't know. It has little holes in it where you stick the balloons into. And as I was doing it, I realized I didn't like the way that it was turning out with all the colors mixed. So I took it all the way apart and put it back together in groups of the same color. But I didn't realize at the time that it also came with glue dots and that's how you attach the smaller balloons and fill in the spaces. So if you do this, a tip is to just put in the medium or like big size balloons into that tape and then fill it in later so that you can really get the depth that you want. You'll see in the clips from tomorrow that I do fill it in with the smaller balloons. I used command hooks and ribbon to attach this to the wall. It was just the easiest way that I found to do it because it didn't sit flush against the wall. And yeah, anyway, that was just easiest for me and then I could put them wherever I want them. Oh yeah, that looks really awesome. Right. Arch is up. I'm gonna blow up the one that I got. So cute. Yeah. I think I might hang that like here. All right, here's where we're at so far. So all the goodie bags are out and then food obviously is not gonna stay here. That one balloon will go up on the arch somewhere tomorrow after I fill in 
there's like just some bald spots I want to fill in a little bit with the leftover balloons, which we have lots and lots of leftover balloons. We just got home. <laughs> Theo has been so clingy. He, um, he was so upset that I went to the basement to put the cake in the fridge. He is just, you're a clingy boy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Are we a package deal? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we were at my parents' house and then I stopped at a kitchen, like a baking supply company. If you are in the area, highly recommend them. It was in downtown Farmington. It's called Kitchen Creations, but they had this powder that you can turn into royal icing with just water and it's black. And I was looking for something black, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to make the royal icing black because it takes so much food coloring that it's kind of gross and so yeah i'm gonna try that they were super helpful though um, oh yeah so anyway if you are in that area it's like not an area that i ever go in but my mom knew about it so yeah anyway yeah you're so cute yeah you are dude so I have a lot to do, but I'm obviously not getting anything done until Adam gets home at a minimum because <laughs> So that's okay. I need all the snuggles I can get before he doesn't want to snuggle with me anymore I'm on the last part of the cookies finally. I think I already mentioned that I found that uh, powder that turns royal icing into black so this is what the bear cookies are gonna look like. I'm also using a pen for the mouth, like an edible pen, obviously, but I just have to verify. Uh, so this is what they look like. I wanted to practice. The ear on this one had some air in the frosting, so it has a hole in it, but I wanted to practice one really quick and get the sizing and everything right. Now we're gonna go through and do it for all of them. I wanted to show you one of these in real time because I think online we see so many things that are done on time lapse that we think that that is the real timing and it's not. This process of making cookies is slow and steady. It takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. So don't think that I'm just zooming through these because that's what it looks like when I speed it up. All of the cookies are officially done. So these are the four shades of the ones. I love how these turned out with the monochromatic, same color icing in the dots and the background. And then here are the rest of the bears. Kissy, it's my birthday party day. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go this is where I'm adding in all of the smaller balloons using the glue dots. They were super easy to use. I wish I would have realized before I put any of the balloons on there. I realized about halfway through and it just adds so much more depth and interest to the balloon arch. I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone Here's the final setup. I really, really love how it turned out. I didn't get to show putting together the last few things because it was just absolute chaos, but I will link every single thing below. I'm so happy with how it turned out. So we had all of the goodie bags and then we had the time capsule, which I will show you a close up of what this looked like afterwards. Uh, I just thought it was the cutest idea to have people write notes to him. Then we had all of his bear and one cookies on a platter and I just continued to refill it as they disappeared. And then I had his smash cake, which was a custom vegan cake that I had made for him. And I got those toppers on Amazon. And then this is his regular cake from Costco. This is all of the months, which I just thought was so cute. This was like a last minute, did it the morning of 
did not have enough time, but it did come together and I think it was a really cute addition. And then next to that, I did have all of his milestones put up and I just thought the whole thing turned out so cute. I didn't get a clip of the final food, but this is kind of like a last minute getting everything prepped and ready to go. All right, guys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Theo. Happy birthday to you. You're not going to blow it out. Adam, come uh, take a picture with Sarah and Theo. All right, ready? All right, ready? hold on to these because I never showed them in the video and I wanted to show you really quick. Um, they have started to peel up since this is just on the foam board, but I wanted to show you how this turned out. This is part of the pack that I bought. It's fully editable, so you can just change whatever you want. We actually changed some of the categories and everything. So yeah, I thought that was so cute. This one, again, you can change it to say whatever you want it to say. The pack also came with the invitations, which I just think are so cute. And it came with all of the templates, so you could do all of the different months. This template was also included. We just printed this off on computer paper and then framed it, but this is the time capsule. We just asked for people to write something to him. I printed off all the response cards on um, cardstock that we just had on hand, and I put four per cart for paint four per page so that I could just cut them out. And that worked out really well. And we put them in this little box. So we have them all. I'm sure that we'll put them somewhere safe in an envelope or something for him to open. The pack even came with thank you notes, which we got the kind that are just perforated here. And again, you can customize them to say whatever you want, but I just thought they were so adorable and it made everything so cohesive. All right, guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that you enjoyed coming along for Theo's birthday. If you did enjoy this, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.